So today I'm talking about how I've always wanted to start a channel but have never done it because I always had a reason not to, but now I'm out of excuses. So yeah, let's explore that and let's get on to the video. Today I'm going to use the Auric little eyeshadows. They're called the Smoke Reflex. And I'm going to go in with Temper, and then I'm going to go in with Disrupt. Disrupt is their holiday shade, so that's why it's in the fancy white packaging. I, yeah, so I'm going to go in with Temper first, and I'm going to use it as an eye base. Um, kind of like how I would apply a Super Shock shadow. Temper is actually really similar to Waddles, but a little bit more metallic. Waddles is very much a satin formula. It's really pretty. It's the same undertone. Alright, whenever ColourPop started discontinuing everything, I went and bought like five Waddles because Waddles is my favorite color. Um, it's gonna be my project pan. I'm gonna start recording my project pans. Like I did it with the other YouTubers, but I was always like, oh, well, I'm not gonna do it myself because... I don't know, I was too scared to start a channel, so now I am out of excuses to not do it. I'm going to go in with the Luxie 205 Tapering Tapered Blending Brush. I wash mine every two weeks, but I recently just used like a blue eyeshadow look. I will put it on the screen. I went to the Kyla Beauty POC Market event, and um, it was at Revival Coffee, and it was super cute. I think it's the same chain as Takara Mucha, and the owner is Latina, and she owns like five businesses or something like that in Austin, which is really cool and really inspiring. So I loved going to the Kylev market and I would definitely suggest it in the spring because it's going to be a lot of fun. Disclaimer, I work for Kylev as the influencer relations manager and that is kind of why I decided to start a channel because I'm working in it. You know, like this is my industry and I should learn the skills and I should learn what it's like to be on the other side of the camera. That's nerve-wracking, but I feel like it is going to help my career, which is why I'm going to start filming and making videos. I'm going to go in with Disrupt from the same Smoke Reflect line and I'm just going to place it on my outer corner as a deepening shade and I'm going to blend it with my finger and then I'm going to go back in with a uh, blending brush. So yeah, um, I am the Influencer Relations Manager for Kyla. I really enjoy it and it makes me really happy and I love working with influencers. Like it's kind of cool that they know I exist and they know who I am and I can send them PR and they look really happy whenever they receive the products which is just mind-blowing because I've always wanted to work in this industry in some form and it makes me really happy so I figured I would go ahead and try to do it myself. I started watching Kathleen Lights in September 2015 so yeah I was 14 at the time. I was too scared to wear makeup. I watched her videos and it made me really excited to actually try because I was a dancer growing up and I really, I mean, I loved makeup as an art form, but I was too nervous to go to school because I was like, ah, I don't want to go to school with bad makeup because people are just really judgmental. Especially in like middle school, early high school, like people can't get over themselves. I'm going to go in with the Kyla Venore palette and I'm going to use Buff, which is that mid-toned blush shade. And I'm just going to blend it out because it's the same tone as temper. So I work for Kylev and I've been working for them since May. It is currently December 2021. I've been working with them since May 2021 and it's a dream come true to be honest. I really enjoy it and it's it's a lot of fun and I realized how much I really wanted to create content because I love watching other people do it and it makes me happy to see them do it and I have all these ideas in my head but I'm always terrified to actually do it. I just don't care anymore. 2022 is coming up and I want to do what makes me happy. That's going to be my new philosophy. I'm not going to let anything hold me back 
and yeah so I'm gonna go in with rouge and I'm just gonna use it as um, a deepening up shade before I go in with more disrupt and temper so yeah I ran out of excuses so I'm doing it you know before I had oh well I have braces or oh well I'm still in high school oh well I just started college and I don't want people to find it. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a Luxie to a nine large shader brush and I'm gonna go into Lovers. Next, I'm going to go in with Fragonard in the Honoria palette. I'm gonna tap it over Disrupt. I already went in with Fragonard, so I'm gonna go in on the inner corner and put Stolen Kiss. As far as my skin, because that was one of the things that held me back, I I'm allergic to hyaluronic acid, and I always try products like, oh, it's fine. No, it's not. And it creates little bumps, as you can see here. Um, most of this is scarring, which is fine. I don't really care about scarring, and I have decided to not wear foundation anymore. I have always worn foundation, but I don't want to do it anymore, so I'm just not. And I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to give my foundations away, so I don't have to use it. I'm going to go in again with a Luxie 211 concealer brush, which I'm not using for concealer, and I'm going to use Temper. Next I'm going to go in with Disrupt, and I'm going to put that in the middle of my lid because it's really pretty duochrome, and I just want that on the center of my lid. But yeah, I'm really loving Disrupt. I also really love the other one. I think it's Entice. Super pretty. I love all of them. I would wear them every day, for sure. But I have so much makeup that I really need to cycle through. That's why I want to do a project pan, for sure. I'm gonna at least try to film those maybe once a month, because I love those videos, and that's what I want to watch. So... I decided I'm going to make the videos I want to watch. I think that's a good plan. I'm just going to put on the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Volumizing Mascara. It's my favorite one. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to go in with the Auric Glow Lust in Selenite. I'm going to use that kind of as a tinted moisturizer. I just want it all over my face. It's It really does not have much coverage, but... It does a decent job at kind of making my face one tone. It's super glowy, but I don't care. My face used to be so oily. Now it's more normal, which is really nice. I'm going to make sure that's buffed in with an Alamar bronzing brush. I have no idea if this brand is even still around, but it's a pretty vulgar concealer. It used to be in my kit. It's a concealer. I mean, I really have no attachment to it. I'm going to go in with that same Alamar brush and I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Caramel. I'm going to blend it out with a Luxie Flat Top Kabuki brush. And this is decent, I would say. It's in my project pan. I bought it on a BoxyCharm sale. I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Blush in Bliss. And I just think it's really pretty. And I used to do it where it was kind of like a contour. But now I kind of like it in the center of my cheeks. I've just been changing my makeup style. Especially with my face makeup. So I basically went in um, with the Rare Beauty Transcend Liquid Luminizer and I also powdered my face. I used the Fenty uh, Lavender Baking Powder and then I used the uh, number 7 Translucent Perfect Light Press Powder. I really like it. It's good. I find it similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. This is my third one. I went in with the Revolution Bronzer Reloaded in Long Weekend. I'm not picking bronzers. I just picked up 
a bronzer that was cruelty free at Target. Alright, so now <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the La Costa highlighter from Alemar Cosmetics, as Calvin and I would say. And I'm gonna use this Luxie 522 tapered brush. It's intense, but I really like it. And it's based off of the La Costa eyeshadow in the first eyeshadow palette she came out with. And that's like one of my favorite palettes. I remember when that came out, it was like groundbreaking. And I'm going to go in with the Milani um, Romantic Rose Powder Blush. Um, it's really light and it's pretty off camera. I went in with the La Costa Highlighter on my inner corners and a little bit on my brow bone. Now I'm going to go in with lips. I recently made an order with Alamar Cosmetics, and so that's why I have all the products. I got everything that Kathleen Lights really likes, and this is the Dust in the Dust Lip Liner in Birthday Suit. And it's basically my lip color. Also, this is me picking up my skin. I'm going for definition because I feel spicy, and I think... My look I'm gonna wear is a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go in with Bon Bon. I think that's how you say it. Just on the bottom lip to make it really pouty. I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Matte Lip Creme in Courage, and I really like it. It is super nice formula. Um, one of the most comfortable matte formulas. Now, I think I'm going to go in with the Besitos de Para Shimmering Liquid Lip Balm from Audemars Cosmetics. And it adds a little bit of shimmer and I think it's really pretty. I love wearing gloss. I have worn gloss like every day since 6th grade. Like, it's my favorite. Oh wait, I'm going to go in with the Nude Sticks Brow Boost and Set Gel in XL because I want my brows to stay. I used eyeshadow off camera. I am just going to make a channel because I feel like it and I don't really care what people think anymore because I'm 21 and I'm an adult and I can do what I want. And the people that their opinion matters the most, they really want to support me and they know how much I low-key always wanted to do this and they're glad that I'm admitting it and actually doing it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me talk about, honestly, like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm literally just rambling even now. Everything should be linked down below. Yeah, so if you like any of these products, let me know down in the comments. This is, this is me. I'm Gracie and thank you for watching. Alright, take number two, because I'm a novice and I don't know how to do this. With the, with the la 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 la, to the sharp tablet. My brushes are still wet. I'm going to learn how to film. Um, <laughs> today is not the day. If I post this, it's a joke.